Hi everybody, this is Monique. Welcome back. So this video is going to be me taking down my knotless box braids. So I'm just showing you some of the tools I use to take it down. And I'm just cutting them out in this clip. I never know where my hair is. My hair is longer than sometimes I realize. So I cut really low at the bottom of the braids just so I won't cut my hair. So that's this clip. The next clip is just me go ahead and taking those braids down. Um, that's the longest process. And if you see my lips moving throughout this video, it's because I am talking to people um, on FaceTime and on the phone as I do my hair because it's a very long and boring process when you're taking down a protective style. So in this clip, you see me taking out that hair that's connected to my hair right at the top <laughs> so I'm just kind of showing this process I know a lot of people may have seen this before do this themselves but I do have a lot of people who don't know anything about okay everybody this is Monique and this is the second half of this video um so I took my braids down last night it took about three hours um it, it was pretty easy I just didn't have the energy to do it. I felt like I could have got it done quicker, but I kept taking breaks. <laughs> um, and I ended up not like washing it. I just kind of slept with a bonnet on and threw it in this like gross ass ponytail. Um, so this is this like what my hair looks like stretched out from braids. So um, I am, it's really gross. I am going to pre-poo my hair. Um, which is just like an oil treatment you do like before you shampoo it just because when your hair when you're natural and your hair is in braids you um don't get to like moisturize it as much as you would need to um if it wasn't in braids so granted my hair does not feel dry actually so that's a good sign it feels pretty moisturized um but yeah that's my hair so i'm going to do a pre-poo so when you do your pre-poo process you damp your hair a bit so you can open up the cuticles and the oil can seep in i used to have so many more oils but i have not pre-pooed in such a long time um so i only have two i have almond oil this giant almond oil and then i have a black castor so i'm just going to mix those two together so in this clip, I'm just showing I am going to separate my hair into fours and then I'm going to use the almond oil and a black castor oil with water to just drench my hair and do the pre-poo process. So that's what this quick clip is. So as you can see, I just separated into fours. My hair was so gross. But that's what happens when you wear protective styling. You cannot, I mean, you can wash your hair, but I don't. <laughs> so yeah. That's this particular clip. So in this particular clip, I actually show me doing the process really quickly. Spray your water, spray your hair down with water first. This spray bottle I did get from Amazon is more of a mist. It's really, really good for doing natural hair. I would recommend it. Um, and then I'll just put the oils in and just kind of rub it through. But I definitely wanted to drench my hair a lot with the water and get it nice and soaked in. I think I've mentioned cuticles earlier, which is on your fingers. I meant to say like your hair shaft, I think is what it's called. It's just like opening up your hair so it can absorb whatever you're putting on it. <laughs> but I said the wrong thing, of course. So yeah, that is this particular clip. This is the clip when I'm actually putting the oils in my hair. Nothing fancy, just drench it in there. No special technique. This particular clip, I am just showing me taking my hair out of the four parts and I'm going to start washing my hair. So um, when my hair is this gross, I usually wash it in the kitchen because it, it just takes longer to get it really clean and doing it in the shower would just take way too long. <laughs> so I kind of go back and forth between the shower and the kitchen depending on how often I've washed my hair. This clip, I'm just showing the shampoo and conditioner I'm using. When your hair has not been washed in a long time, you definitely have to use a sulfate-based shampoo to really strip the dirt off and get your scalp clean. 
in this particular clip, I'm just showing me wetting my hair to make sure that it will get really, really wet and absorb and get clean with the shampoo. So this angle you can't barely see, but I tried. <laughs> you can see in the next clip. So in this particular clip, as you can see, my hair is really wet and it start to divert back to its natural curl pattern. And I'm just going ahead and drenching it with the shampoo. I always put shampoo in the roots and I just kind of let the shampoo um, go down the hair shaft. So I just put more, get it in the roots, of course and it'll cleanse the rest. The roots is where all the dirt lies. <laughs> as you can see, I'm probably talking to someone as I'm doing this process. And I just wanted to sh look in the camera to make sure my angle was still good and you see how much shampoo's in my hair in this particular clip. So this felt so good to just like scrub my scalp, you know? And the Kenra is a, a moisturizing shampoo. So after I use the other shampoo, I like to use the Kenra, which is sulfate, but it's like a high-end brand. Um, so I use that just to like get my hair extra clean. So I did shampoo twice, but also the Kenra is um, a nourishing shampoo. So it doesn't leave you feeling too stripped, but it does do the job. And then on this clip, I'm just wringing my hair out and showing you guys like the finished process. And then I use an old white t-shirt to dry my hair. T-shirts are easier um, and they don't leave um, frizz on your hair or snag your hair. So I recommend anybody using a, just an old t-shirt. So in this clip, I'm just taking my hair out and I am putting deep. Um, sorry, I'm putting in conditioner in this particular clip. And I just show most regular conditioners, you, you, moist, you just put it in your hair and leave it in for about five minutes, then you rinse it out. So that's all this clip is. Pretty boring, but I'm just showing that process. <laughs> and then this next clip, I'm kind of just making sure I worked this conditioner in through my whole head and then after about five minutes I do go ahead and rinse the conditioner out so that's me just playing around with it make sure it's worked in feels so good to just scratch your scalp this particular clip is me with the rinsed out conditioner and my hair is dried up a little bit and now I'm going to do a hair mask or a deep conditioner. This process is usually something that's done and it's left in your hair for about 30, 20 to 30 minutes, depending on what the packaging say or how long you want to leave it in. So I'll leave all the products that I use linked down below. This clip is just after I've like kind of put the hair mask all throughout my hair. This is like the last section or sorts. And then after I put it in, I kind of just go through and just make sure that my entire head is drenched with this hair mask. As you can see, I'm kind of pulling off a few straggly ends because my hair hadn't been detangled yet. But this is how it looks with the hair mask on. So. So once I put this in my hair, I do sit under a dryer. So you'll see that in the next clip. I usually push my hair up into a ponytail at the top of my head and then I put a plastic cap on. Now, I actually need to get the bigger plastic caps. I did see them in my local Walmart. They have the ones for people with a bit more hair. I definitely am barely holding on to this cap. Like my, I feel like the edges of my hair all the way around are always left out of the cap when I'm conditioning as you can see so I think I need to go ahead and get the bigger ones they're only like a, a buck more so in this particular clip I'm just showing me sitting under my dryer got that dryer on Amazon I'll leave it linked down below 
about 20 to 30 minutes and I usually watch like a YouTube videos or Netflix or something. And in this clip, I am rinsing out the deep conditioner. So I take it down and it's the same process, get under the dryer and rinse that out. This always takes a bit longer because I do really put a lot in my hair. This is where you usually get the most moisture. Um, so yeah, it takes a while. So this angle was a bit better with my camera. You can kind of see me rinsing it out, but I mean, rinsing out is the same. And then I'm just showing the styling cream, the oil, and the leave-in conditioner that I used. That styling cream was my first time using it. Um, that leave-in conditioner by Main Choice is literally my favorite conditioner. I actually have a whole video on it. it no leave-in conditioner leaves my hair that soft and that like bouncy and looks that like moisturize like that is a really really I really recommend it is $16 which is kind of pricey but it, it lasts for a while I think the main choice overall is like a brand that's really really good and um, I've bought a few products from them that I've absolutely loved so I can link the videos of those products down below um, for the main choice because I've done two different videos this clip I'm just twisting my hair up I've done this on my YouTube videos before and this is just showing the finished twist process after I put all the product in and detangle my hair. I twist it up. And then I sleep like that. And so the next day, my hair is dry. And I take my hair down with an oil on my hands. <laughs> and I just um, re unravel those twists that I've done. It's pretty easy. You just take them apart. <laughs> Some of the twists weren't fully detangled, I think, and so they weren't all, all unraveling like I wanted them to in this video. I felt like an amateur almost, but I have shown this kind of process in other vi hair videos I've done before. It's the same. You just unravel the twist and then you separate the curls a bit. So that's all pretty much the same. So this is the curls when all the twists are just taken out and then you do the separating process. So that's kind of what that looks like in this particular clip. So yeah, some of my hair did have more frizz and I think it's because I used a different cream that I'm not used to using. So maybe I didn't use the cream correctly or something. Maybe I didn't use enough or maybe I used too much. I'm not sure. That's the thing about trying new hair products. Um, everything works different with different products so you just it's whatever but I never my hair doesn't have to be perfect like I like my hair to have some frizz with some defi definition and then this is the last clip so this is just like after my hair is completely taken down and this is how I would wear my hair if I'm not wearing a protective style so I hope you guys enjoy this video if you want to see more hair videos from me let me know if you are new to my channel thanks for clicking on this video please subscribe i am trying to get to 500 subscribers and if you're a returning subscriber thank you whoever's watching this video please like comment share and um i'll catch you guys in my next youtube video in the next link you will see my insulate that has my friend cheyenne's youtube channel as well please check her out she does a lot of fun makeup videos and other videos as well See you guys later. Have a good day.